Father, we thank you this morning. We give you all the glory. We adore you and worship you and praise your name. We lift your name. I am for whom you are. Thank you because of your power. Thank you because of your glory. Thank you because of your splendor. Thank you because of whom you are, what you are, and what you will continue to be. Spirit of the living God, we have come to you, Lord, this day, this hour, and this moment. And we ask asking, O Lord, that you will glorify yourself even in our lives this morning as we pray and pray for our family and declare concerning 2024 and then also pray oh lord the season we are in and then we look up to you for our family we pray oh lord that you will hear us and then you will intervene and give us the desires of our hearts in jesus name we pray lord jesus that lord nothing we debate nothing we stop nothing we hinder that which you have desired and plan and purpose to do for our lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we will pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we want to begin to give thanks to God, giving thanks unto the Father, who has made us to be partakers of the inheritance in light, who has delivered us from the powers of darkness, and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin. God has been so faithful, most faithful in our lives and family, and it's important to give and express our broken gratitude to God, the great God, the great King, the mighty God, the powerful God, the everlasting God, the one who had been from time immemorial. Let's worship him. Let's praise his holy name. Let's adore him for all that he's doing in our lives. Let's glorify him for all that he's doing. Let's lift his name higher. Let's worship him. Let's glorify him. Thank you. Thank you. In the beauty of holiness. Thank you. Honor him. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. So we want to lift the name of the Lord Aya. We want to lift his holy triumph name Aya. We want to worship him in the beauty of holiness. Let's thank him for the victory that he had given to us this year. How God has been so faithful, graciously faithful, mightily and powerfully faithful, sublimely and supernaturally faithful. Shall we open our mouth and give thanks to him? That's a beautiful thing to give thanks to God. God has been so good to us throughout the year. Look at our pastor, Pastor Martin. Has God not been so kind to him? Has God not been so faithful in his life and family? Yeah, there could be some momentary challenges. Yeah, there could be some moment of pain and delay. There could be some area that was saying that, oh, maybe this has not been done. That has not been done. Pastor Bani, you will also realize that God has been faithful unto you in every aspect, in every respect. And the rest of us can also say the same thing personally. I can see that. I was, I was having prayer with my wife, and I, I and I was telling her, we were, we were just having prayer, and then I was a night of the accident I had earlier this, uh, earlier this year. How that would have claimed my life, how that would have wasted me, how that would have taken me out of this life, but the God of heaven spared my life. So there are many cases that we can recollect of the way and the manner we were spared by God, for example. Let's, let's show appreciation to God. Let's show what God has done. 
let's show appreciation. Let's express our proper gratitude to him. There are people that in this economy of the world, many do, do not even have peace. And yet we are as children of God in this turbulent world, in this peaceful and starting to we are enjoying relative peace and we are enjoying peace relatively. And we are grateful not to him for the relative peace he has given. We know that during the millennial reign, there's going to be an absolute peace that will come our ways. We have a hope. There are many who are living on this planet who are hopeless, but we are not hopeless people. What a privilege that we are living in this world and we are not hopeless. What a privilege it is that we are living on planet A. We are not hopeless people. Can we open our mouth and give thanks to the Lord? Let's open our mouth and honor the Lord. Let's exalt Him. Praise His holy name and worship Him. Glorify Him, O God. Glorify His holy name. Adore Him greatly. Adore Him mightily. Adore Him powerfully. Adore Him kindly. Adore Him in a way, in a manner. That we will know that we are happy. Father, we thank you for the honor. We worship, we pray, we exalt, and we lift your name higher. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. At this time, we want to go before God now. We want to ask the Lord. In the name of Jesus, reminding him of the things we told him earlier this year. And then we are yet to see those accomplishments of those things in our family. And we'll be praying for some family as well. But we are going to pray. Now, to start with, we will pray for some family quickly on the platform. And there are people who are looking up to God for the fruits of the womb. And we started praying for them maybe earlier this year. And then we brought their case before God. And it's like... Till now, it's like nothing has been done, but we believe that God has done something. Do you know God answers prayer? I'm telling you the truth, God answers prayer. If you remember one of the testimony uh, that we had, uh, I think either for Pastor Matthew or the person that I played, of how the fruit of the womb came, how the baby came. We want to pray and tell the Lord oh God in the name of Jesus that the joy in the family will come their way. The Lord will give them their own laughter. My God, take away barrenness in homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. The scriptures say there shall not be barren in the land. Barrenness is banished. Barrenness is banished. Barrenness is banished. Barrenness is banished by the Spirit of God, by the power of God, by the grace of God, by the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit of God, Lord, take away barrenness in the life of the people. Do you know anyone in the family? Do you know anyone in the church? Do you know anyone around your region, your state, your nation? In the name of Jesus, let the Lord take away barrenness. Yes, that's why. Right. Oh, Lord, take away barrenness. That's why. Right. Oh, Lord, God, take away barrenness. By the spirit of the living God, let the Lord intervene powerfully. Let the Lord intervene mightily and supernaturally. Are you talking to God in prayer? Are you asking the Lord to have his way? Have your way, oh, God. Let them consider. They will consent. That woman will consent. Sister Gladys, in the name of Jesus, let your womb be open. Sister Ruta, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will open the womb. In the name of Jesus, Sister Ellen, Holy Father, open our womb, O God. In the name of Jesus, Sister Gladys, Sister Gladys Williams, O Jesus, I ask you, Lord, that the Spirit of God, Pastor Richards, why? In the name of Jesus Christ, holiness is banished from your home. In the spirit of Sister Lola, in the name of Jesus, we will marry for 19 years. The Lord, the Lord compensates you in the coming year. The Lord compensates you with your own baby. The Lord compensates you with your own children. Oh, God, answer our brethren. Answer your children. Answer your servants. Answer the people of God. And take the people from their family. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 There are homes that sickness has been ravaging. There are homes that what is taking the resources from the home is sickness. And the scriptures say the inhabitant of the land will not say, I am sick. How then can they just have perpetual sickness? Last night I was leading prayer in our Deeper Life uh, Campus Fellowship platform. 
alumni. That's alumni now, the Uniben alumni. And I was cleaning the people. So we particularly, uh, the prayer was organized because of one of the sister's uh, parents uh, who had been the diagnosed of all kinds of the diseases were just not one, uh, not even two, I guess. And then before I knew yesterday, again, another sister from that platform chatted me and then like, oh, my mother is sick and all that. Uh, they need money for operation. Uh, she has gathered social amounts and all that. Then I had to inform the boy then we're going to include that woman in our prayer in the night. And then she was included and we fire prayer to heaven. And I was telling the people last night that there are some sicknesses that are being sponsored by powers of darkness. It is not only, uh, it is not all sicknesses that are just ordinary. Many sicknesses are fire. Many sicknesses are sponsored by the demonic power, by the dark power. That's the truth. Many sicknesses are sponsored. How do I know? This book, in fact, it came to set the captive free by Rebecca Brown. You will know that there are evil, evil power agent personality who fire sickness and all that in the life of human being, causing a lot of havoc in their lives. We want to pray as many on our platform who have been sick and they re and it's like all through the year sickness, sickness. If one fall ill, the other one will go again. If this one, it's like they are rotating that sickness in their family. And it's taking away their resources and end comes to that problem and end comes to that sickness and end comes to that illness and end comes to that diseases we want to make a decree as god's servant we want to make a decree by the anointing of the holy spirit we want to make a decree this morning that the god of heaven will raise them all from the diseases from the sicknesses that the enemy has brought upon their lives shall we pray we are saying, oh God, in the name of Jesus, you will bring an end to all the diseases, to all the, all the, all the manipulation. Amen. Amen. The Lord will heal, the Lord will deliver, and the Lord will permanently take care of those strange diseases and sicknesses in the life of the people in Jesus' name. Okay. Do you know that? 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 Is made up of the family, 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 to maltreat the husband, the devil infiltrates into her heart 
and then she begins to misbehave. And sometimes she will not know she's not the one orchestrating what she is doing. For example, in one of our prayer platforms, we are, we'll be having a series of 4 a.m. prayer for months now, since September, and we are ending that prayer by December 31st. Every day, so you see a young man, young woman waking up by 4 a.m., praying to God, calling upon the Lord, and, and that, black, that particular platform. So that leader, the leader that is leading on that platform, he was telling us some stories. And uh, he was telling us, he said, the, there was this brother, this uh, particular yeah, man, and then if he does not beat his wife, it's like to always beat his wife, used to hungry him, used to hungry him. So he had to tell the brother that the brother is under, is he attack or bondage or whatever and all that. I can beating your wife, hurting your wife, be hungry you as a man. So there are people like that, they just hurt their wife unnecessarily. And they, it's why some, they just hurt their husband unnecessarily. But you will understand that it's the devil. The devil has infiltrated into their heart. We want to pray as many such homes. In which the devil has infiltrated, we will banish the devil from such homes. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Lord deliver such home. In Psalm 44, in verse 4, the Bible says, Thou art my king, O God. Command deliverances for Jacob, or verse 5. Command deliverances for your me. Command. When we say deliverance, you know what some people think? They think deliverance is only meant for those who are possessed. They think deliverance is for two. But look at that scripture. He said, command deliverances for Jacob. Jacob wasn't possessed. But yet, he asked for mighty deliverances, not even one deliverance. He said deliverances. You can check it up yourself now. In that as Psalm 44. He said, command deliverances for Jacob. We want to pray. Let God command deliverance for us. In the name of Jesus, as many of such own that the husband and wife are in disarray. They are not uh, in good terms. They are not together. And things are not just working well in such home. Oh God, oh God, let there be supernatural deliverance. Supernatural deliverance this morning. Shall we talk to God in prayer? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. You know, this uh, Monday Monday prayer, I, 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 now we have moved it to 6 a.m. And then, so hopefully in the coming year, there's going to be a lot of uh, innovation. Is the innovation that we'll be bringing into this prayer. And then by the grace of God, we're trusting the Lord because they, a lot is happening in marriages. And then many, many who have the privilege uh, or the opportunity to call upon God for their family, they do not hesitate because the truth is that a lot is happening. I mean, a lot, a lot is happening. For example, there was this particular couple, as uh, as told us by one of our leaders in the, in the prayer platform. I told you, uh, this was what happened. Uh, they they married, yes, they married quite all right. But they, there's an observation. What was the observation? The wife was not giving a body to the husband, and then. The man just felt, okay, maybe with time, the wife will adjust. Maybe with time, the wife will adjust. And then the thing was becoming an issue. It was becoming an issue, and the wife would not give her body. Uh -uh. Until the wife has to open up that if the husband just sleep with her, then the husband will be attacked, that he, maybe they will kill him. So in other words, the woman was having spirit husband. And because she loved her husband, she wouldn't want her husband to die or to be destroyed or to be attacked and all that. So she was avoiding sleeping with the husband. 
But how possible will that be? How long will she be able to sustain that? But thank God the husband, I think, cried out to this uh, my leader, uh, to this my friend, who is also my uh, one of my leaders in the, the, the prayer, this thing. And that one had to book, I think they, they, they had to book a time with them, a session with them. So what am I saying? A lot is happening in marriages. A lot is happening in homes. I want to pray in such home where either the man is having spirit to our uh, uh, wife or is having spirit husband. You know, we talk a lot of spirit husband. There's not only spirit husband. There's spirit wife. There are people who are just married in the coven, married in the world. And sometimes it's not because they choose to even go in that direction. They, they, what many don't know is that they watch pornography, but they do not know the power behind pornography. You are watching people who are doing sex film, who are doing this and watch, and they don't know what they are injecting into their spirit. Uh, you know, spirit does not need, spirit can work in a, uh, there's what we call electromagnetic wave, wave, electromagnetic wave. You know they can move like 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 the way you have all of those electromagnetic waves, like your infrared, your radio wave, your S ray, your gamma ray, and the ray. They can just go in that ray like that, and then you find people they just set their eyes watching dirty things, watching dirty things into their spirit by so doing, injecting evil spirit into their life, injecting immoral spirit into their life, injecting unclean spirit. And then before you know it, they start misbehaving. You will not know it's as a result of the, the power of pornography. See, pornography has wasted lives. That's why I am always talking about it among the young people. It has destroyed so many things. We want to pray and tell the Lord, as many, oh God, that the devil, the enemy, the evil power has infiltrated into the life of their husband, their wives, and they are not having connection with evil world, evil spirit. God will bring about deliverance into such homes. Please, shall we pray? Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Well, we're going to pray. We're going to ask the Lord now. We're going to call upon the name of the Lord. In the coming year, we, now we are declaring over our own family now. In the coming year, let's begin with our children. In the coming year, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever that will make us look at our children and we'll start crying and we start weeping and we start saying, oh, how did it happen? In the name of Jesus, we shall prevent it. That was part of the prayer I led in that platform yesterday. And I was telling the people, in fact, we needed to prevent anything, tragedy, pain, sorrow, and the rain. We can prevent it now. It will not happen to all. And I quoted the scripture to them. I told them to post the scripture. What was the scripture? The scripture is found in Proverbs 12, 21a. He said, there shall no evil happen to the just. Hallelujah. And then I said, okay, Psalm 91, 2, verse 10, there shall no evil before thee, nor any plague come to their dwelling. That's the scripture. We are going to pray in the year 2024. Every evil package by demonic power, dark power, agent of darkness, 
they will carry it themselves. He that did get a peach shall fall into it. Shall we pray? In the name of God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of God, my children, and whatever people may take authority in the power of Satan. Prayer can be stored. You can store prayer. You can store up prayer. You can store up prayer. Pray it down now. Pray it down now. Pray it down now. In the name of Jesus. 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 They must say, we will return this to our business 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 to our Our children will do well in life. Declare and declare over them. If they are doing well already, they will do better. If they are doing well already, they will do better. If they are doing so well, they will do much, much well. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will take our children higher. In the name of Jesus, the enemy shall not exert upon them, nor the sons of the wicked afflict them. They will be higher. The Bible says, I have more understanding than all my teachers because they keep God's law, they keep God's commandment. In the name of Jesus, our children will be bright academically. Oh God, give them an uncommon brain, an unusual brain, an unusual assimilation. They will not be forgetful. They will not be forgetful. They will not be forgetful. In the name of Jesus, teachers will not be wondering what kind of children are all this one who cannot understand math, who cannot understand English, who cannot understand sciences. It will not be so for our children. Their brain will be their brain will be open. Open their brain. My God, in the coming year, our children will become an enigma of excellence. Our children will become a paragon of success. Our children will become face setter. Our children will become standard for others to follow. Subscribe. Oh Lord God, do it today. They are terrible, they are animals, they are the creator of the universe, and all the various parts of the brain, the bones, in the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost shall upgrade their computer. The Holy Ghost shall upgrade their hypothalamus. They are terrible and terrible, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Lord walk upon their brain. Let the Lord walk upon their brain. Let the Lord walk upon their brain. And make them genius. It will be genius. We have various genuses in our family, in our home, in the name of Jesus. No jealous spirit will hamper on them. No jealous spirit will hurt them. No jealous envious spirit will destroy them. No envious spirit will destroy them. No envious spirit will destroy them. No power will be able to free the star of your children. No demonic control. No demonic rotation. No demonic manipulation. Maneuvering will be able to free the star of your children. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's talk to God in prayer. Demons of the world, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we will not be able to command God in prayer. Are you talking to God? Are you asking? Are you calling to God? Are you asking? Are you calling to God? The name of the Lord. The start of our children will rise, will rise, will rise, will rise, will rise. Will rise. By the power of the Holy Ghost, you will have. You are a light. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare you a light. You are a light. No power will dim your light. My daughters, you are light. You are light. You are light. 
no envious spirit, no agent, no personality from the pit of hell will be able to dim your life. Your life will shine vital and vital in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I said in Jesus' precious name we pray. We are going to pray for our wives. We are going to pray for our husband. You will not lose your husband in the coming year. You will not lose your wife in the coming year. Please, can you pray all this prayer down now quickly? We are going to pray. As they move out, I hope you know you cannot be with your wife 24-7. You can't be with her anywhere, everywhere. I <laughs> know it's not possible. It's not possible. You can't be moving up and down together. She has her own life to live as well. She will go to the market. She goes to the office. She will go to other places. She will go to and other all that and all and that. So and all that. So and just all that. Uh, that. Uh, uh, even though it's husband and wife, but you cannot be with her twenty four seven. We are going to pray anywhere my wife will navigate to the coming year. The God of heaven shall preserve and protect. The God of heaven shall preserve and protect. The God of heaven shall preserve and protect. Oh Jesus, protect. Oh Jesus, preserve. Oh Jesus, protect. I will not lose my wife, the wife of my youth. The God of heaven shall preserve her. You are the joy of Morewa. You are preserved in the coming year. You are preserved in the coming year. The Lord protects you. The Lord preserves you. The Lord watch over your soul. The Lord watch over your spirit. You will not fall. You will not fail. You will not fall. Spiritually, you will not fall. Spiritually, you will not fail. Spiritually, you will not fall. Physically, you will not fall. Physically, you will not fail. Emotionally, you will not fall. Emotionally, you will not fail. Emotionally, you will not fall. I am praying for my wife. Are you praying for your wife there? Are you praying for your wife or husband? If you're a woman connected with us, in the name of Jesus, we pray for your husband. If you're a man, pray for your wife. Wait, wait, pray. Talk to God in prayer. You can store up prayer. We are storing up prayer now. Store up the prayer. Store up. Even if you don't need it now, pour it up. Pour it up. That's what many people do not know. They do not know. They will start praying. They will pray tonight. We pray this one. We pray that. Don't we get tired of praying? How can we get tired of praying? How can we get tired of praying? When we know that our breath, when we know that that's our life, when we know that's our all. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, she will not be able to pray. Amen. Amen. Your wife or your husband will not be a victim of circumstance. Please listen to me. I was telling them in the church yesterday during the service. I was telling the congregation. What was I telling them? Uh, you know, uh, I, I just pity people who don't know God. Honestly, I pity people because this life eh, is ruled by power. It's ruled by powers of darkness. You know, I, I shared with us. I don't know if I shared it on this platform. I was to go for uh, my mother-in-law, Beria. Uh, that was uh, in November 17th uh, that we had the burial. And by November uh, 16th, the Lord revealed something to me. And then when I saw it, I woke my wife up. And I held, I, I don't know if I held her hand. And then I, I, ju I just told her what we we're going to do that day. So I just told her, okay, dear, I will, I will do this. I'll wait on the Lord. And then let's cancel that. And what I saw was so clear, was so real. And it was about my wife, children. Uh -uh, what is this? But thank God, God revealed. And that's how it was canceled. And that's how we removed all of that. And we went for the barrier by the grace of God as a family, even though there were issues and all of that. And then even when we go there, even the car I drove down have issues and all of that. But the truth is that we went and we came back. Hallelujah. Do you know that even when I got to the place, I was still sharing with them what I saw. Do you know there are powers in this life? The earlier you the, you know this, the better. The earlier you understand this, the better. You know, there are people who they just say, I beg you, all these people, you are just praying power, praying this. You push you allow them rest. You don't allow them rest. You have to be on the offensive side. Stop them before they stop you. You stop them before they stop you. That's why we pray ahead. That's why we pray ahead. That's why we pray ahead as a family. We want to pray and talk to God in prayer. Your husband will not be a victim. A victim of situation, a victim of circumstance. Your wife will not be a victim. A victim, and they say actually, oh, actually, she was in that bus. Oh, that bus that had an accident, and everybody died. God forbid. Oh, oh she was in that plane. Oh, and that plane, 
actually they play now this show and it crash landed and then the that's how she lost uh that's how he lost his wife that's how she lost her husband god forbid oh actually the wife was cooking so the gas exploded and then the fire engulfed the wife and that's how the wife died hey god in the name of jesus the covenant i made with god is the covenant of life my wife will be kept alive my spouse will be kept alive please are you praying can you pray? talking to god they pray I refuse to, to lose the one that God has given to me. I refuse to lose her. I refuse to lose her. The God of heaven will continue to preserve her. The God of heaven will continue to uphold her. The God of heaven will continue to watch over her in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to God in prayer now. Quickly talk to God in prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord preserve your wife. The Lord preserve Amen. your children. The Lord preserve your family. Amen. The hand of God rests upon everyone. No Amen. tragedy next year. No sorrow next year. No heartache next year. No evil happenings next year. There shall no evil happen to the just. May that scripture be a reality. Upon Amen. the family of everyone on the platform now, and those who couldn't join in Jesus' name, we want yeah. to pray right now that next year, no struggle. <laughs> Let me sing this song for you. No more struggle for me. No more struggle for me. No more struggle. No more struggle. No more struggle for me. No more struggle for me. No more struggle for me. No more sorrow for me, oh. No more sorrow, no more sorrow, no more sorrow for me. No more sickness for me, no more sickness for me. No more sickness for me. I said no more sickness, no more sickness, no more sickness for me. I think it was in the church, I was addressing the people again, and then I was telling them, you see, this situation of... Uh, Oh, things are very expensive. Actually, that's what is happening in Nigeria now. Things are actually very, very expensive. And, uh, you know, uh, many families say, may not even be talking of, I, uh, they want to eat this, they want to eat that. It's like anything, Tubasha were available. They will just eat and all that. But would you know that there are still people in this uh, country, this same country, I'm not talking of politicians now. I'm not talking of people who are using dubious means, no. I'm talking of genuine, genuine people, and then who are still living up to expectation of the economy. And then they go to the market, they go anywhere, you say, oh, well, how much is this? Oh, it's also a million. They just pay. And then they do the, they just pay, they just clear it. And then they go to the market, they spend money and buy the, they are, if they are not reduced the way they eat, they see it normal and all that, the expenses, the inflation does not stop them. Do you know? That God can so raise your status that even if dollar is two thousand to whatever it is, even I'm not saying it should be, but even God can sustain you. God can raise your status to that height. My mentality has changed. My mentality has changed completely. That you can still sub, not just survive, you can live above. That's what we call escape velocity in, in physics. That's the minimum energy for an astronomical body to escape gravitational pull. That pull, the pull that is upon everybody, you can escape that pull. The struggle that is upon everybody, you can escape it like gravitational, like escape velocity. We want to pray right now. We shall escape struggle. In the coming year, we shall oh. escape struggle. Hey, Jesus. Right. In the name of Jesus Christ. I struggle to pay our friend. It's we do In the coming year, we will live a smooth life. Hey, Jesus. I will keep on. Lord, Lord, we touch and put it for me. Oh, God, just one Lord, let us in the prayer for me. You are Lord, you know, you imagine it. It's my family shall not struggle. My family shall not struggle no more. Struggle. 
No more trouble, no more tragedy, no more pain. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. We believe you have heard. We believe you have answered all that we have told you in the place of prayer. Oh God, honor. Oh God, honor. Oh God, honor. Oh God, honor. And let there be answer from heaven. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for uh, Sabi. You can hear his voice under the. Sabi is from Afghanistan, but by the grace of the Lord, he has been a member of our church for more than ten years. He's very, very consistent. Today, I saw something he did, and I saw the way he's moving near God. We call upon the name of the Lord on his behalf. That more than the way he knows God now, he will know God more than that in Jesus' name. And mm -hmm. Almighty God is going to visit him. You might have seen him, I show him, he will remove it. But let us open our mouth, let us pray upon the name of the Lord. That Sabi, his name is Sabi Muhammad. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God will continue to move near him. He will continue to move near God in the name of Jesus Christ. He will follow God to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. I can't hear yeah. our prayer. I can't hear our prayer. Let's open our mouth. Let's show our love to him, please. He's a member of our church. He has been so consistent. He has been so, uh, I mean, been so loyal. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, He's going to see the Lord in the new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. For a mother here that always helping me, helping us financially. I want us to call upon the name of the Lord for him. That a special gift at the year is coming out to an end that a special gift god will render to her in the name of jesus christ i've not known if it said to her citizenship or not but either said to it or not a special gift from above that by the power in the blood of jesus christ almighty god is going to give to her in jesus name let's open our mouth let's pray for her let's pray for this our our mom that has been helping all financially uh, for, for, for some time for some month now but a long month now that by the power and the blood of jesus christ almighty oh god is going to open the kingdom of god almighty oh god is going to pray for him that by the power and the blood of jesus christ god will be with his children god will save his children god will be with him god will be with every one of us he will receive the grace of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. He will receive the name of the grace of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In few minutes that he will remain, we will pray for uh uh please uh, I'm I'm accepting somebody from the set of God's name. Please help me to watch. Uh so we 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 will pray for someone now. Ah, we will pray for couple. You know, <laughs> when you see what this in the call marriage, if you are not lucky like Pastor Yomi, uh, or any other person have seen that they are lucky, like our leader, when they want to come marry like this, when they call money, they will want to call money, you will think it's married they want to call. If the person does not finish it very ill, uh, I mean quickly, and he say, M, by the time you feel crazy, Oh my God! If you are in data, you won't know when you will run. I don't know how long it is, but we won't know when you will run to reverse it. This marriage, you, they, they, they say, if you enter it without no God blessing, my dear brother, my dear sister, if you will be, you will prefer to be in the shop than being than be at home. I'm telling you. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all those people who enter it. Uh, by mistake, by generation causes, by not waiting to the Lord, by disobedience, Almighty God is going to de de deliver them in Jesus' name. There is no punishment that greater than marriage punishment. Let us be real. Let us be real. Especially when you come from Pentecostal. You remember, you cannot remarry. You cannot say divorce. Immediately you do that in the Pentecostal, you are no more yourself. 
you are not my no part of it but you, could, you will take the place of the lord then in the house they believe that your wife is cooking for you they believe that your husband is providing money for you but two of them are not happening and nobody must see you outside that you are in one place or the other intimacy is there your spouse may be punishing your, your spouse may be punishing you if you are somebody that cannot regulate your body then wala come nobody you will be able to tell outside and if you miss fumble especially in Pentecostal church they will say you are, no it's not they will say you have become a sinner you can't participate in church activities they say you see them be, be, uh, on the they will be, they will bet back back to as they always say so if marriage is mistakenly uh, uh, wrong it takes the grace of the Lord for the, co- the for the any of the couple to make kingdom of God. Because if one one is say is holy, then the Bible the Bible let me so the, the blood of that particular person is going to be asked. Then there's a many thing, many 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 things, many 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 things that cause secret sin that you don't know. It's part of the and many in the marriage because they don't want to offend each other. You will call upon the name of the Lord. For those people, who, for many people that are in this kind of marriage, instead of enjoying, they are enduring. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood, God will deliver them in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for couples that, that they are enduring their marriage instead of enjoying it. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to deliver them. Almighty God is going to open way for them. That by the power in the blood of Jesus, they will not, they will not cry. To the rest of their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. I have one, I want, I have one of my bosses. He will tell me, Matthew, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, I've, I've seen a witch that become a priest. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Now, by the power in the blood, Lord, in any area, in any area, the shoes is too tight. The shoe is spending one, one of the spouses, one of the spouses that God will eat their wound in the name of Jesus Christ. God will eat their wound in the name of Jesus Christ. Their marriage will be sweet. My marriage will be sweet. Their marriage, marriage will be sweet. My marriage will be sweet. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God is going to do what I in all those marriage that have some son, that have some that is stopping it in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to open, God is going to open the heavenly bank. God will bless them in the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritually, God will bless them. Materially, God will bless them. Physically, God will prepare them. And all what thing that is causing disturbances, that is causing the, the salvation in that home, God is going to remove in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will rejoice with the family that is passing through that in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. to you back, Pastor. That, Pastor Omore was a Land of us. Amen. 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 I'm most, most grateful to you this morning. Thank you for all your servants, all your children who have connected. Thank you for our brother who connected now from Afghanistan. We are praying, oh God, in the name of Jesus, the Lord, you will help in the Bible, say, go in grace and in the knowledge of our Savior, uh, Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord, your son will go and go to become giant and pillar in the faith in Jesus' name. Amen. No matter the level of persecution, no matter the level of misrepresentation, no matter the level, oh God, of opposition from the pit of hell, you will help him to stand, oh God, and you will uphold him. The Bible says unto him that is able to keep from falling and to present faultly. For the apostles say, I know whom I believe, and I know all is able to keep that which I have committed unto you against that day. And so, Lord, I pray, O God, that the good thing you have begun, you have started in his life, you will perfect it until the day of Christ in Jesus' name. It will affect other people's life. It will influence others for Jesus. And Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, revelation upon revelation, he will see and he will have boldness to declare and to decree 
in the name of Jesus Christ. So Amen. I'm praying, oh God, throughout this year, we have been coming here to pray, we have been coming here to pray, and then the people may be asking, okay, oh yeah, show me the evidence. Show me evidence of your prayer. Lord, I pray there will be evidence of our prayer. Lord, Amen. Amen. The people who dis disregard prayer, people who disregard uh, spiritual thing, and they are saying, you people are just wasting your time, wasting your energy. Oh yeah, all the prayer you have been praying, how come these challenges is still there? How come that one is still there? I pray you will silence the amount, you will solve our problem, you will solve our challenges, and the people will see it pays to pray, it pays to serve you. Do it for us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Who are looking up to you for a particular thing in January to this time, and it's like it has not come forth, it's like it has not come to reality. I pray, oh Lord, as we combine uh, our uh, combined authority, anointing, and everything together this morning, they will see the desire of their heart. Lord Amen. Jesus, I pray you will put smile on every face this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. As we go in. This week we are favored as we go into this week the hand of the lord shall rest upon all as Amen. we go into this testimony is our portion thank Amen. you lord in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen. thank you very much uh, for joining uh by the grace of god uh by next year i've seen the areas that are not really being uh, doing what i'm supposed to do and uh, I hope to do some adjustment. Actually, I have different platform where I pray. And so what I will do is that I'll be coming up with some innovations for this particular platform and even my Monday prayer. So sometimes I won't be the one to lead. You might just see a minister coming. I have various uh. ministers God is using mightily, 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 mightily. And then one of them is even into marriage and all that, deliverance, marriage and all that. And so next year is going to be very powerful. Amen. Uh, God, we are we are going to re-strategize. And then we trust the Lord. God is going to do a lot in home, in family. And a lot of lives will be repaired. A lot of home will be repaired. So do not get discouraged. Tell people about this platform. And we believe there will be testimony upon every leaf in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning, Thank you, sir. Brother, uh, well, but, um, uh, uh, Princess, don't mind my glasses. I'm not safe very well. Am I your me? From your oh, state? From. Oh, your state. Oh, your state. Thank you, sir. God yes. bless you, sir. Yes. Uh, oh, well, so I want to, uh, God bless yes, you, sir. Yes, sir. Please, I want to I want to join fully. Oh, I want to be partaking in this program every time, please. I'm oh, also okay. a member of the church by the grace of God. Okay. God bless. Sir, are you on the platform? Yes, I just... No, I used to listen to most messages used to post on YouTube. So I just saw the links to you. Uh, these uh, so, so I just followed the link. So that's how I joined. So. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. So, uh, but I don't know if you are in one of our prayer platform or the prayer request platform, prayer request platform. No, I'm not. I'm not in any. Okay. Okay. Maybe I will need to have your contact, sir. So my is... Okay. Uh, my zero seven zero so three 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 seven 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 five seven five seven six 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 zero seven zero three three seven seven five seven six six exactly brother yomi okay you are brother yomi yes sir pastor yomi sir okay pastor yomi <laughs> no problem sir no problem Okay, right. thank you. So, Don't mind the part like you know them on WhatsApp, right? Are we maybe this one is on WhatsApp now? Yeah, yeah, it's on WhatsApp. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. All I'm right. from Oyo, sir. I'm from Oyo. Okay, I'm from Oyo. Yeah, I'm from Ogumo. Yeah, I'm, from Ogumo. Yeah, I'm also from Ogumo. <laughs> ah. ah, yes, I'm also from Ogumo. Show. <laughs> 
I'm also from Ogumo <laughs> Show. So, Where you is that in Ogumo Show, sir? I'm from Ilia Lakpa and Tara. Tara? Oh, sorry. I'm I'm from Owodi. Do you know Owodi? <laughs> yeah, ah, why not? For Christ's sake. Yes, yeah. yeah, I'm from Owodi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Owodi. Okay, because I'm of from... the people. Because of the people. I've seen another brother. I've seen another brother. This is Augustine. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then for the platform, please get in touch with me. Get in touch with Pastor Yomi. Then when you look at that, where you will see the zoom, read this very okay. well. You will see where you are going to click. Okay. Then you click them, they will join you to the other our group. Any anyone, just read this very well. You will see where okay. you will just click them. Prayer one, prayer two, uh, uh, the blog, the blog. And then okay, men yes, only. yes, I'm seeing yeah. it, I'm seeing it. Yeah, prayer request one. <laughs> Just men, only, men only yeah. platform, prayer yeah, request two. Yeah, yeah, click them. They will join you okay. automatically. Then let me give you okay. my number two, sir. Okay, no problem, sir. Uh, uh, plus one. Plus one. Four, three, four. I'm coming, I'm coming, please. Okay, come again, please. Plus one. Plus one, mm-hmm. four three four, four three four, nine six two, nine six two, six six, six six, two two, two two. Okay. Plus okay, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Plus, one, Plus four, one, four three four, four, nine yeah. six, yeah. two six, six two two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you enjoy Papa, you enjoy the 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 the love of mm. God. Uh, hey, mm. please, before we go, are you, who is Brother Fincet? Are you the one, sir? There's another Brother no, I my, my Zoom, my Zoom name is Agile Technologies, so I'm not, okay. I don't know about this. Thing, so. There's another Brother Fincet, Augustine. Okay. I think maybe somebody will know that, uh, maybe they, it's not, will, uh, it's not we need to mention his name now. Okay. Let's share the grace together. In the okay. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the yes, love of God, the love and the of fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Audition in your body. I command you, cancer, come out in Jesus' name. Also, we don't give you any chance there. You cannot remain in that temple of God. Also, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. All that swelling in the body, all that pain in the body, you have no right to be there. 
And therefore, right now, I command you, pack your load and go in Jesus' name. All that bleeding, constant bleeding is coming to an end right now. The hand of Jesus touch you. The virtue of Jesus pass through your body. That blood come to an end right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those people that their eyes are still blind. Blindness is not from Jesus. He is the light of the world. And I pray that the light of his power will shine into your blind eyes right now. Blindness, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, open all those blind eyes. Those dim eyes. Open them in Jesus' name. That deafness in your ear. The end has come to that. I command that deafness come out in Jesus' name. That dumbness, I command you right now. Come out in Jesus' name. Those who are lame. Those who are paralyzed. Those who are broken bones. Power has come. Power has come. Power has come. Broken bones anywhere in the body. Joy together right now in Jesus' name. Short leg. I command that short leg. Grow out right now. Short leg. Grow out in Jesus' name. I command those who have stroke. That stroke in your body, I knock it out. Stand up and walk. Stretch that hand and behold. You are healed in Jesus' name. Those who are on crutches or lying on the mat or staying in the wheelchair, I send for the power of healing in your body right now. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise and walk in Jesus' name. Lord, every curse I break, every yoke I break, the anointing that breaks the yoke, take every yoke out of your life in Jesus' name. I pray now, Lord, miracle everywhere. Healing everywhere. Deliverance everywhere. Set your people free. Everyone free. Everybody free. Boys and girls free. Old people free. The freedom come to you right now. Receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. It is confirmed. Nobody can reverse it. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this hour. Thank you because you pronounce blessing upon your people. And you have promised to solve every problem of our lives. I pray, Lord, you manifest yourself in a great measure in every life in Jesus' name. Glorify yourself. Magnify the name of Jesus. Do wonders in the lives of your people. And I pray, oh Lord, that today will be an unforgettable day in every life in Jesus' name. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. God bless you as you sit down. We're talking about the glorious day of divine visitation that means god visiting us that means god living his throne in heaven and coming to where you stay coming to where you are and bringing blessing upon your life when somebody leaves his place and he comes to our house and then he sits down in fellowships with us he even tries to help us. There's one language we use for that. We say, he has come to visit me. 
And that same language you're using for God. It's left everything he says. You are important to him. Your life is important to him. Your need is essential to him. He wants to wipe your tears away. He wants to roll those mountains away. He says, maybe you think you are not important. But he says, you are important to him. And because of that, he comes to you. We call that a visit. It's from that word visit we have, visitation. And because he is God and he comes to visit you on earth. We say it's not a human visitation, it's a divine visitation. And then when he does that, he brings something your way. Look at Luke chapter 7. I'm reading from verse 16. Luke chapter 7, verse 16. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God has visited his people. And that God has visited his people. What did they see? What happened to them? What did Jesus bring to them? That made them to say God has come. He has visited his people. Look at verse 17. And this room of him went forth throughout all Judea and throughout all the country, all the region, all the territories round about. And then in verse 22, then Jesus answering said unto them, Go your way and tell John, John the Baptist, what things ye have seen and heard, how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised, and the poor have the gospel preached unto them. And it's because of those wonderful works, the signs and the wonders, the miracles, the healings, the blind seeing, the lame walking, the deaf hearing, mountains rolling away, problems being solved, that the people said God has visited his people. And God has visited you today. I want to hear you. I say God has visited you today. And your life will never remain the same in Jesus' name. Let's look at the word of God before we pray. Divine provision with divine visitation. Divine provision with divine visitation. When God visits us, he provides for us. He does some things for us. But I need to talk to you a little bit before I read the rest of the passages to you. You are not just a one singular cellular being. You are threefold. You have body, you have soul, you have spirit. And your body is the most important to you perhaps. Because it's all the body you see. You have eyes, you have nose, you have ears, you have ear, you have everything external. And that appears to be the most important. But actually, you know, your spirit is the most important. And then your soul is the next important. And your body is the last. Your body is the least important. Because dust thou art, and to dust you will return. And because we are conscious of our body every time. It's like the need of my body. I'm sneezing, and I want to get relief. 
My eyes are dim. I want to get relief. My hand is weak and hanging down. I want you to get up and be strong. My legs cannot run. I want to get up and walk and run. That's legitimate. That's right. And that is necessary. But you know, all that is the body. And actually, you know this hand here. It cannot move and do like this, except there is a spirit within that gives it control, gives it instruction, and says, go up, come down, point this way, point that way. The hand itself is nothing without your spirit and your soul. And so that's why he brings provision for your body, he brings for your soul, he brings for your spirit. And actually, if your spirit is weak, your body will be weak. Let me tell you, somebody is energetic and mighty and powerful, he's able to run. He can pick up this and pick up that and take up that very strong. All of a sudden, you call him. Have you heard? He said, what? So you have not heard? An accident happened. Then what? And they discovered that so and so in that accident, now he is in a terrible condition. And they give you the name of that person. And the person happens to be the most important to you on earth. All of a sudden, because of that information you heard, it affects your spirit. It affects your soul. And your hands are weak. You cannot carry a bucket of water anymore. Your legs cannot carry you. You collapse and then you sit down. You begin to breathe as if you are going to die. Nothing happens to your body. It is the effect of your soul and your spirit on the body. So, if only your body is well and your soul and your spirit are not well, something is going to happen. You'll be weak. you will be strong completely. Spirit, soul, and body, you will be strong. I said you will be strong. Because I'm going to talk about every part of you. Healing for your body. Something in your soul. Something in your spirit. And you will get a full blessing in Jesus' name. Divine provision with divine visitation. Number one, happiness through salvation. I'm talking about your soul now. For your soul to be saved. For your soul to be forgiven. For your soul to have connection with the almighty God. For there to be no wall of partition between you and heaven. And between your soul and God. And he forgives you. And there's no guilt. And there's no condemnation. And you are saved. The joy that comes. The happiness that comes. And it is like medicine. When you are excited in life. When you are happy in life. When the joy of the Lord becomes your strength. Number one. The happiness that comes through salvation. Number two. This number two is talking about your body now. It is healing for every sickness. Cancer will fly away from you. Ulcer will flee away from you. Paralysis will leave your body. Blindness will leave your body there. Deafness, what are you talking about? It's gone already. And the dumbness, everything will vanish away. 
your body will be strong. Your back will not be bent like this. You'll stand up straight and walk straight. Something is coming your way. There is salvation for your soul. There is healing for your body. If you believe, say amen. amen. Now I told you, you have a soul. I told you, you have a body. And praise the Lord, there is salvation for your soul. Praise the Lord, there is healing for your body. Now, if I just release you like that and you go. I have not spoken about the most important part of yourself. Your body, your soul, which one remains now? I said which one remains? Your body, number one. Your soul, number two. Tell me, which one remains? Your spirit. Your spirit. Now, there is something the Bible says about your spirit. It says the time is coming. When you come to the end of your race here on earth. Then it says the body will go back to the dust from whence it came. And then it says your spirit will go back to God. Here your body will live only for a short time. Over there your spirit will live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And if it is so that your body only lives for a short time here and your spirit is going back to God and is going to live forever and ever and ever there must be provision for that spirit and Jesus has made provision for the spirit that's why we come to talk about all the three parts the body the soul and the spirit there is healing for the body there's salvation for your soul there is sanctification for your spirit sanctification for your spirit point number one happiness through salvation happiness through salvation number two healing for the sick number three Heaven for the sanctified. Heaven for the sanctified. Number one. Tell me number one. Number one. Happiness through salvation. You know, when you are sorrowful, it kind of depreciates everything in your life. If you carry sorrow about, it makes you even look, you are not as beautiful as you ought to be. You feel wretched. You feel gloomy. You feel terrible. And people looking at you, they would not like to stay with you. But when you are happy, when you are joyful, when you are excited, and the happiness and the joy puts a smile on your face. Everybody likes to stay with you, likes to be with you. How can you have that kind of happiness? Morning, afternoon, evening, you're happy. Whatever is happening, you know that you are related to God, you are happy. It's the kind of happiness that comes with salvation. When you are born again, you are a child of God. You know that heaven is caring for you. And you know that you are on the Lord's side, the Lord is on your side. Happy joyful excited actually the bible says that when you belong to god happiness comes to your life when you get salvation happiness comes to your life i was looking at deuteronomy chapter 33 deuteronomy chapter 33 i'm reading from verse 29 deuteronomy chapter 33 i was looking at verse 29 
He says, Happy art thou, O Israel, and who is like unto thee, O people, saved by the Lord. Happy art thou because you are saved by the Lord. Saved of the Lord. He took them out of the captivity of Egypt. And he has taken you out of the captivity of sin. He picked you up from the dungeon. And he says, I forgive you. I cleanse you. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And now the blood of Jesus Christ covers you. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you. The blood of Jesus Christ has converted you. You are now a new creature in Christ. What joy you have. What happiness you have. Actually, that's why David prayed the prayer for salvation. Look at Psalm 51. In Psalm 51, he began to pray. He wanted that salvation once again. That joy once again. That happiness once again. Show me a backslider. I show you a miserable man. A miserable woman. Show me somebody who was saved before and then went back to sin. And now Satan has grabbed him and is rubbing his nose in the mud. I show you a sorrowful man, a sorrowful woman. That's what happened to David. But now when he came, he began to pray. I want happiness back. I want joy back. The joy to know that I belong to the Lord. And the joy to know that if I die, I am going to heaven. You know, David was still on the throne. He still had privilege of ruling. He was still an exalted man, a privileged man. He still had all the things of this world. He still had a beautiful, a good house. He still had an army he was controlling. But salvation was gone. Because of that, there was sorrow. He said, the bones you are broken, I want to rejoice once again. That's why, if you are not going to have just a temporary joy, I got healed, my blind eyes are open, you must go forward and get saved and have salvation. It says in Psalm 51 verse 5, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me, purge me, purge me with his soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy. Make me hear joy. He said, I'm sad right now. I feel miserable right now. I'm sorrowful right now. Because there is a word of partition between me and my heavenly father. My sin have caught me away from the Lord. I'm miserable and sorrowful. But make me hear joy and gladness. That the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. He said, because of my backsliding. Because of my sin. It's like the bones in my body, they are all broken. I don't have the excitement or the strength to even rise up and say, I'm going to the battlefield. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. My bones are broken. I'm a broken-hearted man. Hide thy face from my sins. Blot out all mine iniquities. He was praying for salvation, you know. He was praying for restoration. He said, my sins, they weigh down on me. My iniquity is too much for me. The burden of guilt and condemnation is too much for me to bear. 
It says, forgive me, Lord. Blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. That's the prayer you pray. As you want to experience the joy, the happiness in salvation. You don't want to be like an hypocrite. That is smiling broad externally, but internally you know you're miserable. That's it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But it's all shallow and empty because you know you have sinned and you have not repented. It says, I need a change. I need a conversion. I need the salvation of the Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. He knew that religion cannot do that. He knew that tradition cannot do that. He knew that your position as a king in society cannot do that. He knew that money cannot provide that. He knew that anything you have on earth cannot give you a clean heart. God has to do it himself. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. We said the greatest thing you can have. Holy Spirit is greater than money. Holy Spirit is greater than political position. The Holy Spirit is greater than position in society. The Holy Spirit, the third personality of the Trinity, coming unto you, living with you, abiding with you, fellowship and helping you every step of the way. He said, it's the greatest thing you can ever have. Look at verse 12 now. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Not human salvation, heavenly salvation. Divine salvation. The salvation that comes from the hand of God alone. The one that Jesus purchased for you on the cross of Calvary. There are some people that will deceive you. And then they say, I am Mr. So-and-so, Prophet so-and-so, Priest so-and-so. They say, I give you salvation. That's a lie. David said, there's no salvation that will satisfy your soul except the one that comes from heaven. Give me the joy of thy salvation. And that's what we're asking the Lord today. You want to be sure beyond any shadow of doubt that you are saved. And when you are saved, that joy will come. The joy of salvation. The assurance you have from the Lord himself. That your sins are forgiven. That you don't have any guilt or condemnation before the Lord. That you have turned away from sin. And the Lord has accepted you. Now you are the accepted one in the beloved.